What's it like being black in tech? What up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it's like to be black working in IT. Recently, I was asked to participate in a video conference where I was talking to a group of young people between the ages of about 16 to about 20 years old. They're involved in this program where this program is dedicated to helping these kids get their GEDs and their high school diplomas so that they can hopefully go about the business of getting their life on the proper track. And one of these tracks that this program is offering is an IT track. So they brought me in to give my perspective about IT, talk about my uh, career over the last 18 years working in IT as a combination of military stuff and civilian stuff. One of the questions that was asked to me was, what's it like being a black person working in IT? Because the group of people that I was talking to, they are predominantly young black males from what I'm told, right? Here's my perspective on what it's like being a black person working in IT. First thing you got to understand is that in the IT industry, based on the data that is available, they say it's only roughly like 7% black folks working in tech or IT across the board, period, point blank. That's, that's pretty much it. And I'm inclined to believe that because in most of my IT positions, whether I was in the military or as a civilian, I can attest to the fact that there have been plenty of instances where I was the only black person working there. And I don't know if this is just by coincidence or it was what it was. Well, let me rephrase. At the time, I didn't know if this was just by coincidence or it was what it was because I had no knowledge of the data previous, uh, you know, up until recently. But as I become knowledgeable about the data based off of stuff that I've researched here and there over the last couple of years, I can attest to the fact that maybe that data is pretty much spot on because in most of the roles that I was involved in, I was pretty much like the only black person there. Now, there have been instances where there was at least two or three of us there, but it wasn't like there was just a whole bunch of us working in a certain uh, uh, help desk or working in some sort, some sort of environment. Oftentimes, I was like the only one. So here's what I want to say with this, right? Now, some people may look at this as a negative because you want to see a more diverse workforce and you want to see more black faces doing tech. And I get all of that. I really do, because personally, I would like to see it as well, which is why I was talking to these young people, giving them my testimony about how I got started in IT and the things that I've done in my IT career over the last 18 years or so. But at the same time, I got to be honest and sit here and say that over the last 18 years of me working in IT, me being the only black person around in a lot of these instances was like never something that was stuck in my brain, meaning I didn't go to work hoping and praying that I would see another black person at work or I would get sad if I didn't see another black person at work. It was just never something that really crossed my mind because I was just there to do a job, do the job to the best of my abilities, get my paycheck, go home and trick my money off on stuff that I earned from my IT paycheck. That was like pretty much how I was. Even when I was in the military, I, I for sure <laughs> wasn't really thinking about this stuff because uh, some of the environments that I worked in required me to be overseas, deployed to a combat zone, especially when I was in Afghanistan in 2010. And I was the help desk supervisor or ran a service desk, however you want to phrase it. And I actually was the only black person there as far as the military people are concerned. And we had maybe one or two black contractors that kind of worked with me, but I didn't really see them as it directly relates to the scope of the job. I would see them in other areas outside of work. Like we go to the gym or we go to the cafeteria together, but we didn't really work directly with each other like that. But in that environment, I never really thought about it because the thing that was on my mind was hopefully 
an RPG, which stands for a rocket propelled grenade, doesn't fly over the wall and blow up some stuff near me or in my immediate vicinity or whatever the case may be. Like that was a constant threat all the time when I was over there. Um, before I went overseas and I was just, you know, in the state side, primarily at Fort Gordon, where I was uh, stationed at, I didn't really think about it that often uh, in some of the roles that I was in, where whether it was when I was working uh, for a help desk, part of the uh, 93rd Signal Brigade, or, you know, back when they had the 93rd Signal Brigade there, or I was working with the NSA, the uh, the what was it? the National Security Agency. Um, I just never really thought about it. Now, I would see black folks when I go to work, whether they worked in different sections, but I got to my little section where I was working at in the NSA. Uh, there were times that I was the only black person there. And then it might be another black person, but they might be on a different shift. But like I say, it was just never something that I thought about that I was like conscious about because I was just like, you know, it kind of is what it is. I'm here to do a job and I'm trying to go home. I'm not really here to be talking about politics and race relations and all of that great, wonderful stuff. I'm here to click clack on computers, make sure lights are staying green and not turning red. And then I'm bouncing like that was just kind of how my mentality flowed. Now, there was one portion where I did work at the schoolhouse on Fort Gordon, where I actually taught I.T. to a bunch of brand new recruits into the military. And we had a lot of black people that worked there that were teaching I.T. So. That particular environment throughout the entire duration of my career doing IT, that four year window from about 2011 to 2015, when I got out the military, when I was teaching at the schoolhouse on Fort Gordon, that was probably the most black people that I seen working in IT at one in one facility, I guess you could say, where we were all teaching brand new soldiers entering the military how to get involved in IT. It was extremely diverse there. It wasn't just black people yet. White people, Hispanic people, Asian people, whatever. It was a, it was a nice collect, collection of people and everybody pretty much got along. And I honestly can't sit here and say that. I remember having too many conversations about race relations up in there about, man, there's too many black people here. Or it's not enough black people here. There's too many of them. Was, none of that was none of that was going on. We were just there to. Teach these brand new people entering the military the basics about IT, get them ready so that they can move forward to their first duty station to perform their duties and go on about their military career. In the civilian world, ever since I got out the military back in 2015, I've, you know, I've did a couple of things here and there since I've gotten out. And yes, I have been the only black person in these roles. And like I said, I'm not really going into these job interviews or going into these roles. And one of my main objectives is I have to find other black people to work with. And I, I can't be the only one in here. I mean, I'm literally not thinking about that stuff. Now, is that me saying that I'm glad I'm the only one there? No, it's not me saying that. It's just that I'm just me personally. I just don't think about that aspect. And, you know, I don't know. Other people might think about that. That's just never something that was at the forefront of my mind. I'm like I said, I'm here because I was hired to do something. I'm going to come in here and do whatever it is that I'm being paid to do. And you're going to give me my paycheck so I can go spend my money and live my best life doing whatever it is that I do with my money. I mean, that's just kind of my mentality of how I approach things when it comes to IT. Now, would I like to see more black people enter in IT? Absolutely. freaking lutely I would like to see more black people enter IT. And it's not because I want more black people to enter IT just so I can see a sea of black faces, regardless of how dark or light skin you are. Because I know some of y'all are like, you black? Yes, I am. I'm actually mixed. But, you know, here in America, I'm considered black. It is what it is. But I would like to see more black people in IT simply because of the way the economy is going and how we are transitioning into becoming more and more dependent upon technology in our lives, whether it's dealing with elementary schooling to where you have a bunch of children who are going to school online these days due to uh, world events taking place with certain viruses floating around or automation and robotics coming down the pipeline and all these things are coming to steal our jobs and you know all of this all this scary stuff that the mainstream media puts out there to us I would like to see more black people enter tech so that essentially black people don't get left behind. 
That's just my personal opinion. And I say left behind in terms of the numbers of black people entering tech versus the numbers of white people, Asians, Middle Easterns, et cetera, Hispanics, et cetera, et cetera, entering IT. I just want to see black people get involved in this industry and make the most of it, regardless of what lane in IT that they go down, because there is a plethora of opportunities out there for anybody to uh, take advantage of, especially if you're black. There's just all kinds of things you can do, everything from building apps to cybersecurity to teaching IT to uh, becoming a network architect. Uh, system administrator, you know, just all kinds of stuff, computer scientists, all types of different stuff, man. And you don't even have to really be heavily involved in tech tech in terms of becoming a tech professional. But, you know, I, I would just like to see more black people become more tech savvy. Um, and I'm not, that's not to say that there aren't a lot of tech savvy black folks out there because they trust me, there are lots of them out there, but at the same time, I do come across a lot of black people who are not as tech savvy as I would hope that they are in terms of how to navigate this highly technological uh, economy and world that we live in. So I would like to see that happen. But I think my main focus is I would like to see it happen with the young children. That's where I would like to see it happening. I would like to see more young children getting involved in tech and or STEM programs at an early age where they can start really grasping and internalizing these concepts beyond their ability to get on an iPhone, look at YouTube and, 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 you know, hang out on whatever their favorite social media app is by posting videos all day. That stuff is cool, especially if you're a kid, but as this technology keeps progressing and we keep rolling forward into becoming a, a more technologically advanced, advanced society, even more so than we currently are now, you're going to need these skills. And the younger that you can get introduced to these skills is my belief that you will have a greater appreciation for them as you get older. But you'll be you will be able to understand uh, the full complexities of everything that's involved and how you can make this fit into your life so that you can go out there, live the best life that you can possibly create for yourself. So that is what I would like to see. I would like to see more black folks get involved in tech, but I really would like to see more black children get involved in tech by having some type of IT or STEM programs introduced to elementary, middle school, and high school age kids. So by the time that they hit 18, they can come out the gate and be fairly competitive with other groups of children who may have been introduced to this stuff at an early age. That is what I would like to see. So all in all, as it relates to my experience in IT as a black person. I never view my experience as negative in any manner whatsoever. It's just that I just went in there trying to learn what I can learn and trying to be the best at what I what I was hired to do so that I can maximize my paycheck so I can come home and take care of my wife and kids. That has always been my thought process entering IT. It was never me going in there hoping that either I'm the only black person there or there's just a whole bunch of us there. I just looked at it as I'm the best person who got hired for the job. Now, whether or not they hired me because I was black or they needed some minority to fill a position, I don't know. And honestly, at the time, I didn't care. I never asked the questions. I just knew, let me get this job. I got the job. and Boom, let's rock and roll and do what we got to do. But now that I'm in certain positions um, in direct relation to what I currently do in IT, that I do want to give back. And try, like I said earlier, try to help teach and inspire younger people and older people, which is why I have this YouTube channel. But offline, I do want to get more involved with younger kids and particularly black children, especially those who grow up in like urban areas where maybe they're not getting as many resources allocated to their schools as they should be. Um, I would like to go out there and try to do some things with these children to get them up to speed in terms of understanding the basics of IT and how they can implement this into their life and use it as a tool to progress them in the future. So those are the things that I would like to do. Overall, if you're black and you're going into IT or if you're black and you're thinking about going into IT, just understand that there is a chance that you might be one of a few, but don't look at it as a negative Look at it as a positive in terms of you going in there 
learning everything that you need to learn so that you can continually advance your career. And hopefully, if you ever find yourself in a position to where you want to give back, i.e. by being a mentor or something like that or teaching other people, then you will be in a position to do that because you will be hopefully be thoroughly qualified, thoroughly educated, and you will have the match of certifications and all of that wonderful stuff so that you can walk it like you talk it so that you can thoroughly prepare the next generation or somebody else who's looking up to you, wondering how, how you do what you do to help them get involved in IT. So that is really my perspective of being black in IT. I just try to look at the glass as half full <laughs> and try to make the most out of it and take my skill sets and hopefully give back to those who may be less fortunate regardless of race. But, you know, since I am black and I'm part of the black community, I'm not going to say it in front like my loyalties aren't with trying to teach and, and put pour all of my all into some of the most underprivileged of society, which just happens to unfortunately be most mostly black children. So that is what I'm going to do. What you choose to do with it is up to you. But that's how I feel about being black in IT. All right. So with that being said, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also visit my website, Technology G, for more information. And with that, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.